It's not just the, uh, Andrew Wakefield is not the only player in this, although he got all this started. Um, there's another uh, large group of, of patient advocates and, and others who have proposed, proposed another hypothesis, and that's the thimerosal, vaccine, thimerosal autism hypothesis. So as early as 1999, just a year after Wakefield's study, some groups decided that if the MMR vaccine doesn't cause autism, because there were, there were these studies showing that it didn't, that thimerosal in the vaccine must be causing autism. So that, that's kind of illogical. Uh, it's quite illogical because it ignores the evidence that there's no link between vaccines and autism. Um, but the evidence that was appearing in 1999 was between the MMR vaccine and autism. So some people decided that, oh, it must be this thimerosal. So thimerosal is a preservative that's used in, it's used in many vaccines um, as a way of keeping bacteria from growing in the multi, in, in multi-shot doses. Um, and it's been used in vaccines as a preservative for decades uh, in part, because, in large part because of this controversy, it's been removed from all vaccines in the U.S. And since 2001, we have not used it in any childhood vaccines in the U.S. But it was being used in the U.S. Uh, up until 2001. And it contains something called ethyl mercury. It's about half ethyl mercury, um, which is a form of mercury, but it's very different from the environmental mercury that you've probably heard about as a, as a concern in environmental uh, pollution. Um, that's methyl mercury. Um, and so I just want to say that that's a legitimate concern. So if you hear there's thimerosal in vaccines, well, that is that does have this form of mercury in it. Um, methyl mercury is a real cause for concern. I'm sure you've you've heard about it. Uh, it's been a cause for many decades. The very first um, really big incident of human uh, poisoning by mercury was this, as far as I could dig up, was was this in Minamata Bay, Japan. There was a corporation which had a factory, Chiso Corporation, had a factory that was dumping mercury and other toxins into the bay for decades. And it was they, a particular disease uh, was first characterized there in 1956 called Minamata disease. The company fought um, for decades to the, the, the notion that they were causing the people to get uh, to be damaged by this. And there were all sorts of neurological damage and physical damage that people were suffering. Uh, as of 2001, there were 2,265 officially recognized victims in a large lawsuit of whom nearly 1,800 had died. There were 10,000 more that were compensated. Um, although the corporation didn't acknowledge that they had caused their harm. Um, and it was all caused by methylmercury. Now, by the way, the, the people who were damaged by this mercury were not autistic. They were certainly getting damage. They were certainly getting neurological damage in many cases, but it was not autism. But nonetheless, mercury is a real concern. So the press um, is not, was not exactly helping in all this. So here's an article from the New York Times in November 2002 that's promoting not the MMR vaccine, autism hypothesis, but the thimerosal hypothesis, and they, they headlined it the not-so-crackpot autism theory, with the idea being that, oh, well, now we know, at least this, this author, this, this uh, journalist said, we know the, at least some people realize that the MMR vaccine theory might be a crackpot theory, and there actually have been other earlier theories about autism that were um, disproven, but here's a new one, um, that it's thimerosal, and, and New York Times is promoting it. So scientists uh, looked, at, um, looked at the evidence for that as well. And a number of studies, um, some very large studies, have now been done. Here's a study from a year after that New York Times article, 2003, um, autism and thimerosal containing vaccines, lack of consistent evidence for an association. So they point out that, as I was just saying, in 1909, concerns were raised that vaccines that contain thimerosal might be causing autism or other, other neurological disorders. Um, their, their results um, looked at um, three countries. And uh, the reason they could do this was you can't really do, so I should say, you can't really do experiments on people where you give them mercury and then see how it works, you know, what happens. So it turns out that in Sweden and Denmark, they had taken thimerosal out of their vaccines 10 or 15 years earlier. So a natural experiment had already been done. You had Sweden and Denmark with no thimerosal in the vaccines throughout the 1990s. You had the U.S., which did have thimerosal in the vaccines throughout the 1990s. So they were able to compare autism rates and vaccination rates in, in these three countries. And when they did that, they found that there was no evidence that increased exposure to the thimerosal caused the apparent increase in the rates of autism. In other words, uh, the thimerosal was not associated with, with the rising rates of autism. In fact, all three countries had rising rates of autism. There seemed to be no link whatsoever to getting vaccinated or to having thimerosal in the vaccines. There were other studies done. This is another one from Denmark. Um, their conclusion was discontinuation of thimerosal-containing vaccines in 1992 was followed by an increase in the incidence of autism. So this does not support a correlation between thimerosal-containing vaccines and autism. And then here's a study in California um, 
also looking at thimerosal in autism. And their conclusion, um, well, so they actually had a lot of, they, because it was a large database, there were 124,000 children involved in the study. Um, and their conclusion was no significant, no consistent significant associations were found between thimerosal containing vaccines and neural developmental outcomes. Now, I should say that these studies were done and they did, they actually had thousands or even over 100,000 children involved. They were done because this, this hypothesis was put forward. There wasn't a scientific study that was done that said that, there's a, that thimerosal is causing autism, but it was becoming a widespread, uh, I guess you would call it a rumor, which was really all it was, or a widespread story that the press had picked up on and was reporting. So these studies were done in, 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 a, in an effort to kind of tamp that down. And the best you can do when you're doing a scientific study and trying to find out a link between A and B, if there is no link, the best you can say is, we didn't find a link. You can't say there's no link. There could always be a very, very weak link. If you don't have a large enough study, you might not have detected it. Um, so that's what these studies concluded, that there's no evidence that there was a link. Uh, 